In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to promote Digi24 products with YouTube ads. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Most of the people on this app are teaching you the wrong way to do it. So I'm actually gonna show you the right way. Watch this entire video because I think this is gonna be the most powerful video that you've seen today. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. As a successful affiliate marketer and internet entrepreneur, I have made money with everything from security cameras to sound bars, stand mixers, web hosting, and even online courses. If you want real affiliate marketing tips, tricks, and tactics, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, click the first link in the description or go to AustinGodbolt.com forward slash start for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already have. All right, so as I mentioned, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through the entire process of promoting Digistore24 products with YouTube ads. Now, as I mentioned, a lot of people are giving you some incorrect or some outdated advice when it comes to using YouTube ads, and this is going to be an incredibly powerful video. I'm not going to show you how to create the video, of course. I'm going to show you how to get the traffic, and then you just do the rest. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to hop over to Digistore24. Hopefully by now you have already created an account. What we're going to do here is we're just going to pick a product. Over here on the left-hand side are all of the different niches that you can get into. Anything can work. Um, most people will tell you to do high ticket. It doesn't really matter. For this instance, we're going to use social media. Social media can be a great way. We're just gonna pick this first one, Instapreneur Secrets. Um, you can see that they pay you about $5.48 which isn't great, but we're just using this as an example. So now that we have the product out of the way, the next step is to create a landing page. That landing page is going to be used to collect email addresses. I do not recommend that you send people directly to the affiliate offer because you're going to be missing out on about 90 to 95% of your commissions. Can you send people directly to an affiliate offer? Yes. Should you do it? Definitely not. And what you can do, there's a few ways that you can create a landing page. You can create a landing or bridge page for free using Google Sites. So you can just go to sites.google.com. This is my least favorite way, sites.google.com like this. And you can create a free one page bridge page. And what you're gonna do with this bridge page, and I'm just gonna use this, this keto weight loss as an example. And what you're gonna do on this bridge page is you are just going to have, we're gonna get rid of this, you're gonna have a headline that's going to resonate with the target audience. You're going to have an image here, which should be a button that when they click on it, it links them to the actual affiliate offer. And then you can have a second button here to get their custom keto diet. This is the easy way. Um, the easy way is also going to prevent you from making a lot of money or as much money as you want, again, because you're not collecting email addresses. The second way is you can get a domain name and web hosting from Bluehost, and you can go that route. That's actually going to be a little bit better because that's going to help you build up your website. The third and my preferred recommended way is for you to get a landing page builder or web page builder like ClickFunnels or Kartra or Builderall. Um, they all do the same thing and actually collect email. The reason why you want to collect the email is because most people aren't going to buy this product right away. Some do, I would say probably about 90 to 95% don't. In addition, you want to collect emails so that you can remarket to them. If these people are interested in Instapreneur Secrets, they are interested in growing their brand. There are courses out there that you could promote to them. There are affiliate products that you could promote to them. They want to learn how to make money online most likely there are courses there are all sorts of things now just thinking about this if they want if they are an entrepreneur they may need a website so you could promote bluehost they may need a landing or web page builder so you could then promote kartra and builderall and click funnels you they're going to need an email marketing software so again you could promote aweber or get response or active campaign as you can see here we've taken one cheaper or inexpensive product and we could turn this into a real business by promoting products sequentially so what you would do here and this is kind of getting off into the weeds is you would start off promoting instapreneur for five days and then after that you're going to promote something else like uh, click funnels for five days and then after that you're going to promote a course or something for five days that's how you're going to maximize the amount of money that you make with this simple campaign. Again, we'll get off into the weeds a little bit, but that's okay because it's all about helping you make money online. So now that we have that, again, you're going to go to Kartra or Builderall. My pr preference is ClickFunnels. Um, there is, you can actually do it with Aweber or get response, build a landing page as well. You're going to set that up. Once you have that set up, the next step is to go out and create an ad. 
And what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to ads.google.com. And if you get started today, you can actually get $500 free credit when you spend $500. I'm not an affiliate for Google or Google ads, but if you're just getting started getting into advertising, there's no better opportunity if you're going to get free $500 from Google. So you're going to go ahead and create an account if you haven't done so already. Pause this video, go ahead and create an account. It'll take probably about 15 minutes to do that. Well, once you create the account, you can get up and running and then I'm going to show you how to create your ad step by step. All right, as you can see here, I'm still running that ad from a few weeks ago that I mentioned. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to click on new campaign. And I'm going to click on new campaign again. And we're simply just going to walk through the process and the things that you absolutely have to do in order to have a successful campaign, create a campaign without goals guidance. And then we are going to do video. And then we are going to click on continue. After that, we just want to quickly run through some of the settings. These are the most common settings that I use. Uh, for example, we're just going to call this a uh, social media ad, for example, and then make sure that you always set a total. You can either set a daily total or a campaign total. For this example, we are going to set a daily total for $5 per day. And we want to make sure that we have an end date so that we're not just endlessly spending money even if we forget or go out of town or something happens. So we're going to set it for one month. We're going to set, we're going to spend $5 per day for one month. Next, we're going to click on networks and I'm going to uncheck the video partners on the display network. After that, I like to use the big five countries, Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and United States. After that, click on English or whatever language that you're targeting. Next, we are going to go to inventory type. For me, I like to go with the expanded inventory because the expanded inventory is going to make us more available to a wider audience. There are three types, as you can see, expanded, standard, and limited. Limited are for like Fortune 500 companies like Disney that have a brand to worry about. Standard are going to be like Apple that, you know, they have a brand to worry about, but it's, you know, it's, it's okay. Small and medium sized businesses also are going to take advantage of standard inventory. If you are solopreneurs like, like we are, expanded inventory is going to be great. So next we're going to click on exclude types. We are going to ex exclude embedded YouTube videos and live streaming and then related videos we're going to leave off. Next, we're going to click on additional settings and we are going to select devices. All right. And we are going to uncheck TV screens. Personally, I don't see a lot of people clicking and buying from the TV screen. So I'm just going to uncheck it. Next, we are going to add frequency capping. Now, I like to cap the frequency so that the same people aren't seeing the same ads over and over again. I'm going to select three for this and three because I don't want people just wasting my money. There are people out there who are weird and will actually just watch the entire video and spend your money. Now, remember, you don't spend any money with YouTube ads unless they watch 30 seconds or more or they click on the button. So if they press skip after five seconds, you don't spend a dime. In fact, a dime is exactly what we're going to pay when someone watches our video. But remember, remember, you don't pay unless someone watches 30 seconds or more or if they click on the ad. So if we keep going here, we're going to leave ad schedule as is third party measurement as is ad name. You can change this if you want. We're just going to put social media here, social media like this, and then demographics. Now this is where it gets important. This is some of the mistakes that a lot of people make. What we're doing here is we want to uncheck unknown lower 50% and lower 41 to 50 percent so we want to target people that have money to spend if you wanted to you can even uncheck 31 to 40 percent it really all depends on the price of the product if it's a higher ticket you want fewer of the lower income people because you don't want these people just watching the videos but they can't afford to buy it okay and so if we go down to audience segment and we take a look at this, this is going to be another important thing that a lot of people are missing and they're not going to tell you. YouTube has actually gone out and, and Google have actually gone out and figured out different targets or different segments of the market. And what you can do here is you can type in, we'll type in solo, whoops, solopreneur here. So let's go to, let's go to Google and type in solopreneur like this. And we're gonna copy, solopreneur and we're going to put this down 
we're gonna add this over to Google like this. And the cool thing is Google and YouTube have gone out and found data points on their users. And some of the data points include people that are looking to start an online business. So we wanna target these people, business opportunities. Now this is going to be key to your success. People that are looking to start a business, example of women entrepreneurs. But if we hover over online business, for example, business ideas, small business, new business. Um, we can also type in things like uh, social media marketing. We could type in, let's say, social media marketing. And again, Google and YouTube have gone out and found people that would most likely be interested in our product based on keywords. And so if we hover over some of these, let's see if we can find the good one. Uh, enterprise software, event planning, career consulting, business education. If we hover over business education, people interested in pursuing a degree or continuing education program in business. This could be us, uh, social media. Let's hover over this one. Uh, let's come on. Social media, social media platform, social media news, social media information. So we may want to target people that are interested in social media news, social media customer service. Now, again, a lot of people aren't going to talk to you and tell you about this, but this is our opportunity to target people that are going to be interested. Also look at this, starting a business soon. Uh, come on, let's see. Uh, people who are about to form a business. So people that are either considering using social media or look at this one, re recently started a business and they wanna grow their business on social media. We wanna target all of these people and we could potentially make money. Social media enthusiasts, let's click that one. And as you can see, we're going to create a very targeted ad and target people that are only interested in making money online or social media. We can also start. All right. So now that we are targeting people that are most likely going to be interested based on what YouTube and Google have gathered using their data points, we're going to do one other thing. We're going to come down here to keywords and we are going to get hyper focused. And what I like to do is I'm going to come over to YouTube here and I'm going to find some keywords that people are searching that are going to be most likely interested in our product. So if we come here, Entrepreneur Secrets, if we, let's see if we can open this up here, the most valuable ebook to learn about Instagram growth. So we can come back over here and we can type in something like how to make money on Instagram like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go to a website called Keyword Toaster. And I'm going to paste this in just like this. And what Keyword Toaster does is they actually will do the exact match, phrase match, and broad match for you. And so basically what that means is with exact match, this ad is going to target people that have typed in how to make money on Instagram. Uh, with phrase match is how to tar uh, how to make money on Instagram reels or how to make money on Instagram with zero following. And then when you have the broad match, it's they can type in anything in the world as long as it has how to make money on Instagram included. And so if I copy this like this, we're just going to go back over to our campaign here and we're going to paste it in just like that. And what I would do is I would find maybe 20 to 25, 50 words where people are asking questions about making money on Instagram. So we could say like, uh, Instagram affiliates marketing like this. We're going to copy that over into keyword toaster. Now what I like to do is I, I like to put it into a Google doc or a Google sheet and just copy this all over at once. But you can see here, uh, we can say, um, uh, grow business on Instagram like that. And now we're starting to get a pretty good list together of people that will potentially be interested in our in our little ebook. Now again, this can work for any product or service that's out there. And if we go like that, and you can see we're starting to put it, put together a nice little list. If we come back over here, you can see this would be 4.2 million impressions. Let's see how that would change if we come back over to our keyword toaster. We're gonna copy this, and we're going to paste this in right here just like that. And you're going to see that we're going to start getting hyper focused targeting 4.9 million uh, impressions, not people, but impressions. So basically what that means is, let's say, you know, it could be 1 million people, but each 
person has the opportunity to watch this video three times. So that's where that 1.4, or excuse me, that's where that 4.9 million impressions come from. But see what we can do here. Let's go back over to our product and let's see. They don't have a web page, but let's look, actually they do. Let's look at sales page here. We can say something like um, how to make money on social media. Hey, why don't you guys, if you can, put some, some types of, of, of keywords that you would enter in in order to grow your traffic. So um, like how to make money on social media. We're going to copy that. Once again, we're going to put that into keyword toaster like this, paste like that. And then we can do like um, affiliate marketing. I think it's spelled affiliate marketing, uh, social media like that. And once again, we are getting in front of people that are going to be potentially interested in the product that we're creating. Now, this is the best way to do it because you're targeting people at multiple levels. We are targeting people with placements. The problem with placements is simply this. It, when you run your ad or when you do your ad based on placements, you are only getting in front of the, the videos or the competitors that had created a video at that time. So let's say the biggest YouTuber in the world, let's say Mr. Beast, for example, he created a video on how to make money on social media on to today's Thursday, June 16th. I create my ad on June 16th for that video. I can get in front of that video. But what if tomorrow he creates a video on how to make a million dollars on Instagram? Because I created my video based on placements, I won't be able to get in front of that video unless I manually go back through and add Mr. Beast every single time or, or whoever, whomever is in your industry. But you can see here that this is actually going to work out much better. So what I would do again is I would look for maybe 20, 25, maybe 50 words at the most that are going to be related to your niche or your industry. Uh, let's go back over to Keyword Toaster. I'm going to copy these one more time and we're going to put it in our campaign. So we're gonna paste that in just like this. And before it was 4.9, it'll probably be about five, okay, 17 million. That is a lot. That's a lot of, of opportunity there. And so the final thing that we wanna do is we wanna just put in our, our maximum cost per view. That's what uh, CPV stands for. Ours is going to be 10 cents. So we're just gonna spend a dime for people to view. What you need to do next is you need to go out and get a video from your channel and put it here. Now, what I recommend that you do is make sure that the video is unlisted simply because if you have a listed video, it is going to significantly hamper the success of that video. What's going to happen is you're going to use a, a, a listed video and people are going to watch five seconds of the video and click off. So it could be the greatest video in the world, but if people are only watching five seconds of it, that's going to significantly hamper your success. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just going to grab a video that is already unlisted like this, and I'm going to bring that over here, paste it in like this, and we are going to do skippable in-stream ad. That's that ad that you can skip after 15 seconds. And then we are going to put the URL to our landing page or our bridge page. For this example, I'm going to use 10 day business blueprint like this dot com. I think that's the right website. Let me just verify that. The 10 day business blueprint will teach you how to create and sell a digital product in 10 days. If you were wondering. So, yep, that's it. And then we can add a call to action. We don't have to, but really that's everything that we have. Now I want to show you on the right hand side that we take a look, we are going to get potentially between 1.2 and 3.1 thousand views. We're going to have about 4.2 thousand impressions. Um, average cost per view is going to be four cents max. Now this is going to be per day. So over the span of a month, we would need to multiply all of that by 30. And what we can do here just to show you what our totals would look like, is five times three, let's say we spend 150 bucks and we do campaign total. And if we look at this now, this is going to be, you can see a maximum of 13,000 views, 19,000 impressions, cost per view is gonna be the same and you could potentially see some success. Now, if we're gonna spend $150 and we look at this, we would need to have a few different metrics. 
your metrics should either be the number of opt-ins or the number of sales that you have on the front end. Personally, I like opt-ins because I can sell them multiple things, multiple products and services, and potentially make money. Now that you know the right way to make money with YouTube ads, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my free four-step cheat sheet to make money online with things that you already own. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website, alstongodbolt.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.